This time on Low Boost, we get up close and personal and on track with an Ariel Adam. So I'm here, New York Safety Track right now, and um, there's a lot of great cars here, and there's one car that I've been wanting to see on the track since he got it. We've done a couple of rallies together. I'm so happy that he brought this thing out. Um, this is Miguel. He has on? an Ariel Adam. He's, uh, he doesn't even have, what, maybe not even a 1,000 miles on it, but he wanted to take it out to the track. This thing is a track beast. So uh, Miguel, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, I've upgraded from, I have a couple, a Z4M Coupe, I have a McLaren, and I had, I did shifter kart racing for a little bit in autocross, so had to jump up from the go-kart to a bigger go-kart, and this was pretty much the perfect jump. 1,400 pounds, 365 horsepower. Um, it handles through these turns like a dream. It's, it's like what, an F1 car. What's your best time so far here in New York Safety Track? My second run, this is my first time here, and my second time out, I got a 139.4. Um, that's my best so far. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I was out on track with him and in the C5, and it's my first time out with that car too, and I set my personal best at 142. I couldn't drop him. I'm only gonna show a few minutes of this video, but I will actually put in the description below a link to this full video, 15 minutes long of his entire session, but just a couple highlights of me actually trying to run away from this aerial Adam and not really doing a great job of it. by and he still was just just chugging away this is probably one of the faster cars here today um he's easily going to be in the mid 130s once he gets a, a real feel for this thing and has it dialed in and tuned it, it actually you have uh, adjustable downforce on this everything is adjustable on this car I, um fully adjustable springs fully adjustable uh arrow i haven't gotten a chance to actually change anything yet so today was the test day and now i know i can actually give it a i can tilt down the wings a little bit more i'm getting plenty of speed on the straights and uh suspension is actually really well dialed in for what i was expecting i thought it was going to be an issue but it turns out the reason it's wonky on the road is because it's set up much better for the track and uh i'm loving it it's, it's an awesome car i'm having a good time and today was great thanks for the invite by the way no problem no problem glad you could come tell me a little bit about this engine here what's what what makes this thing so special it's not even that special it's the weight i mean it's a k24 z7 so it's a common motor straight out of a honda civic uh, i believe the type r has it now but the with the turbocharger 365 horsepower the lag isn't terrible um once you're past 2500 I, it's all all your power is there and uh and, and this is a true is, stick shift car 100 percent. no no nannies no I, I have no uh no uh i'm sorry traction control no um cru uh, no cruise control no traction control no uh, power steering it's all manual it's literally a rough ride it's, 
you have to be able to put your inputs in carefully and use your throttle modulation to actually stay on the track. I spun out twice today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the track once and once in the middle of the track. Well, I'm glad you made it back on, you know, just, just fine. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see this thing for the rest of the day. Thank you so much, Miguel. Uh, you know, if you guys are into videos and stuff, car reviews, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, Low Boost Films. Um, I do car reviews on other people's cars. You know, I work on my cars. I got a C5 Corvette E36 Turbo LS swap, a couple of the projects I'm doing with my dad. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. This thing is